Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin, shall we? Do you often lie to yourself? Can you tell when and why? The human mind is complex, and it can make us deceive ourselves without even knowing it. Sometimes, evading the truth gives us a feeling of security in what we do. But if left unattended for too long, lying might actually become a part of who you are and create problems that are very difficult to solve. Living a lie can be damaging to your peace of mind. So watch this video to find out about hidden signs that you might be lying to yourself. This will help you identify your behavior and veer you away from the damaging consequences. Number one, your emotions don't match your words. When an accident happens, do you pretend you're not mad just to make the other person feel better? Or when you have tears coming down your face, are you quick to say everything is fine? This occurs when we experience situations where we don't know how to feel or don't want others to know what's really going on in our minds. According to a study by Dior in 2020, this happens when you try to convince yourself of something, but your emotions tell a different story altogether. Number two, you keep justifying other people's behaviors. One of the clearest examples of this is when there's an abusive partner in a relationship who attacks emotionally and physically. The affected person says, it's okay, they're only stressed because of work and need to blow off some steam. If this statement feels familiar, then it's clear as day you might have been lying to yourself. When you want to evade the truth rather than face it, you end up making excuses for the behaviors of other people. Number three, you keep justifying your behavior. Just like the others, do you also make excuses to justify your own behavior as well? You tend to garner strength from these excuses, using them as rationalizations or invented reasons to defend the way you behave, as reported in a study by Sosinski. Common examples of this is when people choose a career they don't like at all, and it's wearing them down, but they justify their choice claiming that they're just feeling stressed. Number four, you don't like listening to other people's advice. And this is attributed to the fact that there are times when we don't even want to admit that we're lying to ourselves. When this happens, people who are lying to themselves tend to only side with people who reassure their lie and oppose those who challenge it. Let's use the career example, where you lie to yourself about being happy with your choice. If you shut off people who suggest looking for different career options, that is a form of lying to yourself. Number five, you feel inauthentic. Do you constantly feel like you've lost your identity and feel like you're a fake? According to a study by Dior in 2020, having this feeling usually comes with deceiving yourself for too long and not really knowing what you want anymore. Things that occur when you feel inauthentic are that you're friends with people you don't like, you laugh at jokes you don't find funny, you go to places where you don't wanna go, or you don't really know what you want or who you are. Number six, you make extreme statements. Do you make extreme statements to justify your situation? If so, you may be lying to yourself to have the feeling of safety. You decide to only consider one vantage point without considering any other possibilities. One example of this is when people claim there are no good men around. By claiming this, you're justifying yourself and protecting yourself from the thought of being afraid to fall in love. And number seven, you're anxious for no apparent reason. Feeling anxious for no apparent reason is a common sign that you're deceiving yourself. In a study by Bundrant, it was found that people who lie to themselves and others are always worried that they'll be found out, which is why they live with a constant feeling of unease and insecurity. People who are anxious for no apparent reason might be lying to avoid punishment, avoid shame, or to fit in. We hope we were able to give you a little insight into some of the ways you might be lying to yourself. Do any of these apply to you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who might be unknowingly deceiving themselves as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.